Okay, so assalamu alaikum guys. <sighs> Today we'll be doing a video on no BS. Yeah, you already see his name's on. Okay, so I'll be doing a video on this guy. He's not he's not the smartest. He's he's not the smartest tool in the show. Though. Let's say that. I won't be too mean here. That will be me in the video if he does say some dumb stuff, which he probably will. You probably don't know that I have reverted. This is a video as to why. This language always confused me here. Muslims like to say people revert to their faith instead of convert like every other religion. I guess we all know Islam likes to think it's so special, right? That's why they like to use revert because apparently to them, people are born with faith in God. In a way, we're supposedly all born Muslim. So when people become one officially later in life, it's technically called a revert. But really, this is all a crock of Let's be real. No one is born Muslim or Christian or Buddhist or anything. Religion is man-made. It's taught to kids very young so that they believe it when they all grow up. Anyone who converts to something like Islam as an adult is questionable at best. Probably dumb or attention-seeking at worst. Alright, so he basically made the claim that Islam is, uh, I guess, unjust, I would say. Because he claims everyone is born Muslim. Then he also makes a claim that everyone is born atheist. So, yeah, I think that's what you call a hypocrite. And then you call everyone who referred to Islam dumb. Or, yeah, you just call them dumb or attention-seeking. Or you call them vulnerable or gullible, I think. Yes, we call them. So, yeah, I bet this guy has never read the Quran. Never heard anything from a Muslim scholar. Never heard anything from Islam other than, like, Fox News or some sh**. Yeah, let's continue. This video is... Probably one of the most important videos I will ever make in my life. This is the most important video of your life? A nine minute rant with you wearing a rag on your head? That's pretty f***ing sad. When I was little, about five years old, I had- Just because someone makes- someone says something is- She said it's the most important video of her life. And I mean, it probably is for her. I mean, you probably have your own important video, um, Mr. Um, no cow poop. I'm not sure what it is, probably something dumb. Also, like, it is something dumb. Let's keep watching. I had this globe, and I would spin it around and play with it. As I was spinning it, it would land on Saudi Arabia. This was my favorite country from a kid. I've talked about this before. Uh, if it's not news to you, I live in Japan. I love Japan. This is my home. But my favorite country is actually Saudi Arabia, and it's always been this way since a kid. Wow, just wow. You decided on this new radical lifestyle based off spinning a globe as a kid? This is akin to me being obsessed with the Ninja Turtles as a kid, and then growing up in this- She never said she became Muslim because of spinning a globe. You're just reading into stuff that doesn't exist. Let's keep watching. Deciding to become a ninja when I turned 27. So I was raised in basically non-religious family. I always believed in science and that's basically it. But even though I wasn't religious, I always uh, was a person who was quick to defend uh, Muslims because I had lots of Muslim friends in Toronto. So you're a Canadian 20-something who grew up non-religious, defending Muslims in Toronto no less. I'm not sure where Toronto is, I never heard of it, but let's move on. This is just classic Canadian cuck behavior, if you ask me. And now now she's moved to Japan and become a Muslim? That's pretty weird. At least her story is interesting. Misguided, but interesting. I'll give her that. Never once in my entire life have I ever looked at Muslims as... Well, I mean, depends on how she was defending them. If she was defending them theologically, yeah, that would be kind of weird. But she was defending them, like, calling all Muslim terrorists and, like, agreeing to, like, kick them out of the country. I, I don't see anything wrong with that. Let let's keep watching. The way that Muslims are portrayed in media today, society really makes me sick and feel sad and feel just pain. You know what makes me feel sad and feel pain? Seeing all the terrorist attacks carried out by Muslims day after day, year after year. It's also sad how Muslims are migrating to Germany and Sweden and ruining their countries. If that's the bad depictions in media you're talking about, then I would say it's completely justified. People aren't making this up. The Muslims have crafted their own poor image on the world stage by doing- Their poor image on the world. Muslims are perhaps one of the most influential groups in world history. You have made giant empires, amazing contributions to science and mathematics and history, and religion as well. So let's say that this is our, this is our image on the global stage. This is not our image on the global stage. Maybe modern day, maybe what people in their homes 
see, and maybe what Americans see in their homes. Not what people who have studied Islam, not people who have been to the Muslim world. Just people like you. People with no academics, no credentials in religion, no understanding of the Muslim world. Let's continue. A few days that I felt a little bit down and I went to the bookstore and I went and bought this Quran. I just started to read from front to continuing forward and I just felt like it was true. Well, it's gullible people like you who Islam is counting on to expand their numbers. But I'm surprised any woman could actually read that book and still want to join their misogynist death cult. I mean, I know this girl isn't too bright, but it's almost like she's signing herself up to be subject. Have you ever read the Quran? Have you ever studied the Tafsirs? You have any knowledge on the Quran? Or then it's from Arabia. That's probably the only thing you know. And then Muslims revere the book. That is probably the only two things you know. Let's continue. I thought I'm gonna make so many mistakes. My pronunciation of Arabic is not gonna be very good. I think you have better things to worry about than praying and speaking Arabic. First off, according to the Quran, non-virgin wives are to be stoned to death. So whoa, I hope you held up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is he making a joke here? Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. New international version. That is not that is not the Quran, that is the Bible. Is he joking here? He has to be joking. He has to be joking. There is no way he is serious about this. There is no way. There is no way. He had to know this from Bible. Let, let's keep watching. He has to know this from Bible. Off on having sex thus far, which isn't very likely being a 27 year old Canadian, but hey, you aren't that good looking, so could go either way. Next, I would watch out for 1 Timothy 11, which says women should submit to the authority of men. But I think we already went over the fact that this girl's probably a submissive. Lastly, I would watch out for the lashing of fornicator. All right, all right, all right here we go, here we go. All right, so the last one was from Timothy, which was part of the Bible, but now here he's finally um, addressing something as part of the Quran, so um, good job, retard. AKA, they beat you up for having premarital sex. But hey, those are just the things that worry me about becoming a Muslim. And I'm just a simple man. I mean, I don't see anything wrong with doing that. Unless you claim that your secular liberal morals are objective and you're probably going to respond to me saying, oh, no, I'm not wrong. Yeah, you are a liberal. You use liberal ideology. Well, let's keep watching. Man with simple pleasures. I saw this video and it basically says that you know it, you can make many mistakes, but as long as you're trying, Allah will see this and He will be happy. Just don't make the mistake of being born gay, because then Allah says Muslims should throw you off a. F uh, first of all, your um, pronunciation is ridiculous. Second of all, I don't think throwing someone down the roof is a prescribed punishment. And third of all, if you're born gay, you're allowed to have. Like, you're not allowed to have sex, but you're allowed to have feelings. Basically, having homosexual feelings is not haram. Having homosexual intercourse is. I've been warned by my friends that I will be judged by other, other Muslim people. And it is kind of hurtful and sad that they, they would judge one of their brothers or sisters, but... Look, lady, just because you read the Quran and put a towel on your head, that doesn't make you this big, respectable sister of Islam yet. These people have been practicing their faith for their whole lives. Damn it, can't believe I'm defending Muslims here. Of course they're going to be skeptical of some white girl like you who's probably just playing dress up to get attention. This is the world we live in, but I would never judge anyone based on their actions because I know that people are responsible for themselves. You probably should judge people on their actions, dum dum. That's like exactly what you're supposed to judge. So, like two seconds ago, how um M Mr. No BS said um about siding with Muslims. Well, for once, I'm actually siding with you. So yeah, th today is a very strange day. Well, yeah, I do agree that yeah, your actions do count. You, you can't just not judge someone by their actions. Um, yeah, Yanni, let's, let's continue. For It's not what you wear or what you look like, it's what you do. You probably noticed I'm wearing hijab right now. Will I wear a hijab always? No. And I really enjoy wearing it, but I'm not going to be somebody who is going to be wearing it 100% of the time in every situation. Well, 100% of the time is pretty much impossible, but it kind of sounds like you just wear the hijab when it suits you. It's not really a religious thing to do with your faith. Wearing the hijab is like a fashion statement for this chick. As a Muslim, you are expected to pray five- Yeah, I agree with him on that one. You're supposed to wear it all the time. 
just wear the hijab all the time. Out. Well, not all the time. When you're at home, you don't have to wear it. But like when you're in public, yeah, you're supposed to wear it all the time. Let's continue. The times a day do I do that? Uh, in the beginning, it was very hard for me to remember the times. I have an application on my phone. I have two of them. Looks like she's not abiding by the Muslim praying schedule either. Not surprising. It's almost like all this Islam traditional stuff is a little outdated. It's almost like this shit was invented centuries ago by warring pirates who raped and pillaged camps throughout the Middle East. That would explain the attire fitting for a desert, not a fucking mountainous island like Japan. As you guys know, you've watched my videos and you probably see a lot. You do know that you do know that the Arabs did not wear that type of clothing. Of videos until, where I did not wear that type of clothing until Prophet Muhammad. You do know that. My God, man, you're so dumb. You're so dumb, man. You're so dumb. Let's continue. Drinking in an izakaya, but I'm totally serious that I have stopped drinking and I do not intend to pick up alcohol again. I guess you found a Muslim rule you are actually abiding by. Funny how it seems to be the simplest one so far, but you have been known to drink a lot in your videos, so we'll see how long this one lasts too. And I uploaded a picture of me smoking shisha. I don't smoke tobacco, I don't think it tastes good, but I'm not gonna judge people who do. God forbid you judge anyone for anything. I got a lot. No, you, uh, smoking shisha is haram. So is smoking tobacco. So that is haram. A lot of comments on this picture shaming me, telling me swear words. I'm bad Muslim. How dare you? This is terrible. All this hate. Yeah, shisha is haram. So I mean, I don't really see why. <laughs> This is very negative energy. I don't know how these people could have such negative energy. It's very sad. I hope they find peace. I'm glad you're happy with your little hippie, everything is cool baby attitude, but that doesn't make you better than anyone. You're not better than the haters just because you ignore their criticisms, which may have merit, mind you. So far, you are kind of half-assing this whole Muslim thing, by my approximation. People have advised me that I should just take these pictures down and just, you know, do it in hiding, not talk about it. But when I heard these people saying this, I really just wanted to She can do whatever she wants, but when she tries to act like she doesn't care about the haters, I'm gonna call bullshit. You spent minutes of this video addressing the haters, and then you're gonna act like you don't care about them? You're gonna tell the haters to have a good life and everything? Get the fuck out of here. Stop trying to take the high road, lady. No one's buying it. And the other day I was doing a live show, I was listening to music and I was dancing, and yeah, I know there's some debate in the Muslim community, you know, music is haram, dancing is haram. Okay, please put the haram guns down. I'm not going to judge people for their actions. I. Oh yeah, music is a bit to be haram. Most scholars say I think Ibn Hazm was against it, but like yeah, I would say it's haram. I I'm not sure about dancing. I'm not really knowledgeable on that subject, but um, let's continue. And I think she's kind of taking like Tupac, like no one can judge me, something like that. I, I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, you can. You can. This stuff is haram, and people should advise you to stop doing it. So I don't support her in this thing. I can't believe I'm actually like doing. I'm I'm actually winging this. I don't know if you guys knew that. So I I did not ex expect to like go against her in this one. I expected just like go against no BS. But um, I guess I am. Let's let's keep going. I'm not going to stop listening to music and I'm definitely not going to stop dancing. Yet another Muslim rule you're choosing to ignore out of vanity. Basically the only one she's following is wearing the hijab. She certainly looks the part I guess. But I'm not going to harass my friends if they want to drink. I'm not going to judge. If I, ha if I meet a Muslim and they want to drink, I'm not going to judge. That is not for me to judge. That is for God to judge, not me. I think that's for Allah to judge. And thanks for saying you're not going to judge people. Allah means Allah means means the, the god so I mean, it's like same thing so that that was um that was a video by mr no BS. i actually kind of support him in some claims obviously in swarm and others i didn't expect to do that in this video and i'm not with the whole gossip thing i'm not with the whole oh men, men um men are rejected by society and things he's kind of crying about like you know red pill i'm not really well versed in men's rights so yeah i don't believe it's as one side as he says it is but that's not really my purpose here i only watched the entire video to basically show people that you know i'm not like nitpicking like 
certain scenes in it, which is why this video is so hilariously long. Anyways, that's about it. Assalamualaikum. This was a strange video.